concept behind a Skippy filter is that you draw water in from the tank or the pond. It goes into the bottom of the Skippy filter. So I've actually got two little pumps bringing water in and then the Skippy filter is layered with different kinds of uh, filter media. So I've got a layer of lava rocks on the bottom and then a layer of like this kitchen shelf liner stuff. And then I've got uh, three or four layers of just like egg crate mattress topper material. And then this layer of um, shelf liner. And then just bricks and stuff to hold it down because the geese like to tear little pieces off of the shelf liner. And I'll have some before and after uh, shots so you can see the difference that this filter makes. It's relatively inexpensive to do. Uh, I wish I had some more powerful pumps to draw water in a little faster and maybe not get clogged up quite so often because with this many birds, although they're not all on this side of the fence every day, uh, but it gets pretty cloudy as you can see after they've used it during the day. And these little filters get clogged up pretty quickly so I find myself having to clean them out every two or three days which is still less time consuming and annoying than having to empty this pond out every three or four weeks. So uh, as long as I stay on top of it, it'll stay pretty clear. Again, I'll have some before and after so you can see that it looks like this after a day of them swimming and playing and mating and eating on it and in it. And then when I come out in the mornings to let everybody out after this has run all night, you'll see the difference. Uh, that's just, I've got a couple of big air stones also just to keep the water circulating. That cuts back on uh, mosquito reproduction and just keeps the water aerated so that it's healthier all around. Uh, from time to time I'll buy beneficial bacteria uh, specifically for like koi ponds that I'll put in there, that helps as well. And you can use any size tub you want. I wish I had a bigger tub. I think that would help also. But we happen to have this on hand and I was not looking to have to spend a whole lot of money. I used to have a second little, uh, just like a big bucket over there. But I don't know that it made enough difference to have to go through all the hassle of uh, cleaning it out from time to time. So I will have to change all of that filter media out. Uh, probably every three months or so just because it collects so much stuff from this pond that it can't work efficiently anymore so uh, I just go to Walmart you know and spend 15 bucks or whatever to buy the foam crate mattress toppers and then those uh, kitchen those shelf liners you know that's maybe 10 bucks for a, a three foot long roll but you can use different kinds of filter media so you can look into that oh uh, yeah, underneath a couple of the layers of this, uh... oh, there's a spider. Where'd you go? Hi, girl. Under a couple of layers of this mattress topper, I have some uh, ceramic filter media that I ordered off of Amazon. I'll try to find a link for that, uh, and I'll, I'll get a picture on the screen. Uh, those work really well also, but again, you do have to clean everything off uh, periodically based on how much the pond or the body of water is getting used, what kind of animals are using it, uh, and just all around conditions. When it's really rainy, there tends to be a whole lot more mud and sludge that gets in there. In the fall, the leaves are out of control. So you just kind of go with the flow. But when this uh, is kept maintained, it does a great job of keeping this pond clean and clear. Let me know if you have questions. I'll, I'll provide more information if you need more information on how to set one of these up for your uh, tank or pond.
Thanks for stopping by to check out this video. It's always good to see you here. If you liked it and you learned something useful, please give it a like and share it with your friends. We'd love to have you join our little YouTube family here by subscribing to the channel. And we want to take a minute to thank all of our new subscribers and channel members for doing such an amazing job in showing us support and helping us grow. So if you want to be informed about new videos as they are published, click that bell icon so that YouTube will let you know we've got something new for you to see. Take care, be safe, be happy, be well, be blessed. Love to all from Rich Cat Ranch, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, friends.